Peed probably is best summed up in one word, it's just unusual. An animal. Where I, I can't, I, I, that's a, that's a low-key word. Not, how about non-human? I'm enthralled by a story. I was mesmerized by a story. I have to say, I, I, I viewed uh, Peter as a bit of a celebrity, a bit of a, an athlete. But he was a little shy, yeah. Not too much, but he was a little shy. I think he was pretty happy. Nice boy. When I see Pete compete, it's I don't know, I'm proud of him. This is something that Pete does, and he's really great at it, and I couldn't be happier for him. My name is Peter Sorwinski, and I'm a professional competitive eater. I don't know what to tell about this. If I really should be proud of this, or I should be, I don't know, I really don't. Let go, just let go. You're holding on the ghost, but we let you go. So let go, just let go. Drowning in your mind. This is my first pizza eating contest uh, that I've ever seen. I think it's very exciting. Frankly, I thought I would see somebody throw up here in public. Every contest I've entered, I've broken a record, and I haven't been defeated yet. Let's go back to Christmas of 2002. Mm -hmm. How do you remember that time? How do I remember that? Like the worst time of my life. Christmas 2002 was when I was hospitalized for, um, for anorexia. My heart rate was like 10 when I got into, uh, into the hospital. It was virtually at a point where it would have stopped. It was very tough. He didn't want to, to be healthy and to, to be okay. It's a bitch of an illness <laughs> that I don't I wish upon anyone. He's got massive balls. And not many people would have the guts to admit that they've come from what he's come from. You know, the background with his, his mother and then being anorexic. And then completely destroy the uh, reasons why people have anorexia and do it for fun and then to use that as a platform. He, he's just, you gotta respect the size of his nuts.